We just had a terrific meeting with 22 high school students who are going to be going to the United States for 10 months to be high school students in the U.S. Uh, they came with their parents, and we also listened to some students who returned from last year. This was an opportunity for us to tell the students and the parents what they could expect, uh, to remind the students to uh, write home, and for them to prepare for what will probably be the best year uh, of their student life. Uh, they will live for a year with uh, American families, learn about American culture, society, and values, and hopefully be the, the link between people of the United States and the people of Israel in an exchange program that brings our people closer together through student exchanges. These programs are of proven value because the people do learn about one another's culture. Uh, these students will come back with a greater understanding of how Americans think, how they feel, and how they look towards the world. Uh, the State Department is funding this program, as we have for many years. So our job has been to, to scout out the youth of Israel to find the best students uh, with the most potential to adapt, be flexible, and do well in a foreign uh, culture. Uh, so our job is to matchmake, if you will, find the best students for the best families in America. My name is Myra and I'm from South Dakota and I am here to talk about uh, being a host parent for a student from Israel you know, through the exchange student program called YES and this is Doa Hajazi and she is the family that we hosted uh, or she's the child that we hosted, the exchange student that we hosted from Israel she lives in Tamra, and we have come here, myself and my family, have come here to stay with her for two weeks and um, just learn their culture and their way. And we've met a wonderful family and friends here in Israel through the exchange program. I'm here because my daughter is leaving to the States as a part, she's taking part in the YES program, exchanging with students. And, um, uh, I'm here because uh, we had to come to the American Embassy to get uh, some information and some of the rules uh, for their travel and for their uh, living there for one year. I am excited, nervous, uh, not really, because I know that she's going to be really in good hands and uh, the whole way of uh, uh, dealing with things are getting really very in a good way. I mean, like uh, knowing the family before leaving or letting our children leave, uh, knowing where they are going to be located and in, uh, in what family they're going to live and to get to know the family before really helps you to feel so calm and secure about your son or your daughter, how is he living to the States. So we already know the family. Uh, I've talked to the mom, to the seems host to mom. So nice. Yeah, and she sounds really great and she seems so good. Uh, we ha we, she sent us some pictures of her. And uh, so I'm, I'm relaxed, I'm confident. And um, I've been working with this project as an English teacher in my school six years ago. I've sent many of my students uh, from ACO, from Makir Village, uh, and uh, from Kvar Yassif as well. And uh, now it's her turn, my daughter. Uh, I'm so excited, a little bit scary. Uh, but I know that, you know, it's going to be a wonderful adventure. Um, a wonderful year, so I will learn a lot of things about myself, about other people, about other cultures. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to Michigan, to Benzonia. It's a, it's a small village in Michigan. Um, that's all. Uh, we have 22 students ready to go on the S program, and they are all placed in different states in, in the United States, so they are all over. and. Uh, some of them are in California, some in, in uh, Indiana, some of them in Texas, and it's in all, in all different states. I think uh, students come back with a lot to, to, um, to contribute to their communities here in Israel. They, are, they do share all kinds of experiences they've been through in the, in the U.S. with their classmates here in Israel. Um, uh, they teach them about community service. We're not very involved in community service here, and this main subject or this main project is, is one of the things that we would like our youth to be aware of and to be more involved in. So I believe it is a very positive experience.